Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm not going to read through the full article here. I'm just going to go over a few details, um, but there is a link in the description if you'd like to go through that more thoroughly yourself. Uh, the headline is very, very telling, so it needs to be addressed. Um, we need to be aware of this, even though I don't live in America, never will, um, but um, you know, America is kind of an important country. More than 150 people are killed across America during Memorial Day weekend as gun violence soars days after the Uvalde school massacre left 21 dead. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you're having all sorts of mass shootings. It's not stopping just because Memorial Day weekend's over. Uh, but these numbers are... Shocking, are they not? 150 people were killed across America um, due to gun violence. I mean, this is fucking nuts. You have a, a large population. You have, give or take, 320 million, I believe. Haven't looked it up for a little while. 320 million people. So, yeah, you are going to have um, killings, obviously. But 150 people over a weekend. Come on, guys. There were at least 14 mass shootings, and uh, the definition of mass shootings, mass shootings does vary, but it typically is regarded as meaning three or more uh, people were shot and killed, but it is used in differing ways. At least 14 mass shootings across the United States over the weekend, from early Friday morning to late on Monday. According to the Gun Violence Archive, an institute tracking shootings in the country. So, yeah, you can go to the Gun Violence Archive. And uh, I've seen this mentioned, being mentioned a couple of times just in the last uh, few days. Um, I've not had the time to go through that this closely myself. But this is probably a good time to mention a um, friend of the channel. Friend of the channel is this showing here. Uh, shooter research community um, 71 subscribers so she's going up and up and up that's Lilit check out her channel she's focused on mass shootings and if you are going to check out some other channels check out my good friend Bella at the end of the day she does very nice live streams um, that's my political channel which I've kind of neglected um, I've neglected that for the time being um, just getting a little bit bored of making political uh, videos, which is a bit of a shame because I make some good videos on there. I make some fun videos. I can't really make fun videos on this channel. And I have my pick a leech. That's me, by the way, if you didn't know. And I'm a bit of an idiot. I'm a bit of a troublemaker on some streets. I've made some videos on there. I may do more reaction videos. Anyway, why am I talking about this? Oh, yes, because of Shooter Research Community. She's focused on... Uh, mass shootings so if you are interested in mass shootings in general then this would be a good resource for you gun violence archive uh, as would Lilith's um, shooter research community youtube channel anyhow back to the article um, at least nine people were killed in the mass shootings and more than 60 people were injured according to the archive uh, which defines mass shootings as an incident where at least four people are shot and injured or killed, not including any shooter. Overall, gun violence uh, over the Memorial Day weekend saw 156 people killed and 412 injured. Um, insane, absolutely insane numbers. Crazy, crazy fucking numbers, man. Really crazy. Um, I'm lost for words. I don't really know what to say. That part's kind of normal for me. The article gives a breakdown state by state or several states, several areas, um, which I'm not going to go through. It also mentions the political aspects. Joe Biden is apparently kicking off the gun control debate. I don't know. I mean, they keep saying that and then nothing happens. Am I right? Um, Ted Cruz has been at the forefront of the pushback. I've seen a lot of negative press about Ted Cruz and his attempts to push back on the gun control issue. But to be honest with you, I would say that that negative 
media that I've seen is just reflective of um, of the biases within the media, to be honest. Uh, but in, in any case, it seems like gun control is going to be politicised. I'll give you my political views on gun control very, very quickly. I grew up in England. I live in Australia. I've never even held a gun. I've never heard a gun be fired. I've never been at risk of being injured or killed by a gun. And nor has any of my family members or anyone close to me in any way, shape or form. Guns are extremely foreign to me. So I really am not in the best position to comment. Um, but, you know, I will in any case. My feeling basically is that you guys in America have an overwhelming amount of guns. Whatever the number happens to be, 300 million plus numbers of guns. Whatever it happens to be, you've got a lot of fucking guns. And more to the point, your criminals have guns. Um, and those states those states those cities that have strict gun control laws well unfortunately your criminals aren't really behaving themselves despite them uh being illegal they're still using guns they're being incredibly naughty these criminals of yours and i've got a feeling that the criminals are going to carry on being naughty and still using guns so with that as much as it would be nice not to have guns in america you do have guns um, so that, that, that's the reasoning that I focus on. You already have the guns. Gun control does not work. That's been shown and proven given the proliferation of killings in cities that have gun control, New York City being one of them. Um, gun control, unfortunately, isn't the answer. This is a massive problem. 150 be people being killed over the course of a, an extended weekend that's a big fucking problem. It would be nice if gun control were to work. If it were to work, I'd be all for it, probably. But I, you know, it's it's obvious that it won't work. So those are the reasonings that I would go to that um, you can't really have gun control. It's just not going to work. You know, if you do attempt to make guns illegal, then your law-abiding citizens will have their guns ripped from them leaving them in a more vulnerable position. And your criminals will just carry on being criminals. And they'll be the only ones with guns. So, like, that's the dumbest thing possible. Um, beyond that, you could you could argue, I guess, that it's a part of the Constitution, which it is. And you could argue that it's a part of the culture, which I guess it has been. Um, those are probably two areas that you could form a strong argument from, two positions you could form a strong argument from. But personally, I just go with, well, you've already got the guns there, so what are you going to do about it? Um, take them away. Well, you're not going to be able to do that from the criminals, so that's not a good plan. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. As I say, um, it was a short video, but I've extended it by waffling and boring you and all of that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys do figure this out, but frankly, you won't. I think I will spend some more time at this website, Gun Violence Archive. I think I will spend some more time at uh, Shooter Research Community's channel. Uh, just trying to figure out what's going to happen in the future in regards to gun deaths in America. Because what one thing that I see is... I keep seeing, you know, these modify, illegally modified guns. I, I listen to hip hop. I watch the music videos. You know, they're talking about Dracos and Glocks with drum magazines. Um, you know, modified extendos. <clears throat> um, your gangs... Uh, I mean, they're almost as well-armed as Mexican gangs. Actually, that's not in the least bit true. Mexican Mexican gangs are properly well-armed. Um, but uh, your, your gang members are armed to the teeth. And your citizens... God help them. If the gangs turn against the citizens, God help the citizens. 
And with that, you have to say, thank goodness you guys do have guns. <clears throat> thank goodness you do have a proliferation of AR-15s. Because if the gangs turn against your good citizens, you guys are going to need the AR-15s. You're going to need those guns. And I feel regret saying that. Because those same guns, and maybe I'm being a bit silly by saying this because I'm not a gun expert, but those same guns are being used... The AR-15s are being used in these mass shootings um, to kill innocent people, often children. Um, such a terrible, terrible subject, really, isn't it? So, so um, harmful, and there's no, there's no quick and easy answer. So maybe that explains this 11-minute waffle of a video. I'll stop here. I'll give you a break. Um, I may or may not make any more videos today. Probably won't. Uh, but uh, thanks for listening. Take care.